making my way up the holler to the rock shelter today to do some digging. Man, it's hot. Southern took me a little break. I bet it's already 70 degrees and it ain't but about 11 o'clock. Early March, that is hot, hot for Eastern Kentucky standards. It's supposed to get pretty windy today, too. We got some bad weather coming in tonight, I think, so. Gonna be a nice day, spring-like weather for early March. I'm gonna take advantage of it. Get up there and do some digging. Just made it up here, and I was just kind of looking around for chips on the ground where the rain's exposed them. Right there. Just looking around. Sometimes I found arrowheads doing this, so I always kind of look before I get started digging. Yeah, this ain't an arrowhead, but it's pretty cool. There's a flint chip next to it. But what that is, that is, is a piece of quartzite that does not exist in this part of Kentucky. It's probably Tallahatta quartz, I, I'd guess. Probably been heat treated, you see. The outside changed to red, probably from being heated, but I found a lot of that stuff there all over this site. And I think they was trying to make it into stuff, points or tools or whatever, and the closest thing I found was like a crude hand axe scraper thing. It's just too tough for them to work with. But, but that's pretty cool. That shows that these people, some of them that stayed here anyway, was was traveling long distances or trading long distances to get material like this. Because this is not native to this area. That's pretty cool. And we'll get down there too and check that out. It's a lot of exposed material there from the rain, so... Probably do some digging down there and up here in the dry part of the shelter as well today. So I just, literally just switched the camera off. And less than a minute later, I dug that out. You can see by how geometric it is. That, that's not just a chip, that's a base off some kind of little woodland blade or something. A little square base. Like a some kind of blade form, a preform or a knife or something. Something simple, it's broke, but still. Good sign that we're on the right track. Going along this edge here, going out towards the drip line, turn it out, and I seen that and just wanted to record in case it is a good one. Broke. Oh, dang. That's some kind of little simple biface, though, that they're working on. Snapped it. It's pretty thick. It's probably like a woodland Mississippian piece or something. Make flake drill great. Something though.
kind of been going back and forth today between up here in the drive part of the shelter, just inside of the drip line and that area down there. See, I've wallered all over it. That's where I found that broke one earlier. Found a lot of chips, but that was it, just that base of a point. Anyways, I've got over here, I got to looking around, and I was thinking that that is bedrock, but that's not. That's bedrock, and that's bedrock. This is a different kind of feature. <clears throat> and I'm starting to think this has been a fireplace or an oven or something. Because all the rocks have been getting out of here. It's black and red. And it's been exposed before. And you see how black that dirt is on that. It shouldn't be that black. It's really dark down in there. It should be more like this color and sterile. But I've been finding some chips in here too. Man, it's just... Really black rich looking dirt and I think that I will just dig here and hook this little pocket and see if I can get these rocks out and see if I can find anything right here before I get out of here. The nicest point I found in this whole site come from about right there. So I'm hoping I can get in here and move these tumbled rocks and go through all this black dirt and find something. Something nice. So I'm up here in this kind of upper corner of the cave at the very edge of the overhang. Just doing some prospecting. I was right there. And I found a lot of flakes, a burn up piece of bone, burn up piece of pottery, but nothing good, so. I've come on up here, and that's as far as I've dug before. I've not even checked up here. I just got up here and got the rolling stuff back, just breaking the top up and checked it out. And it's obviously a bone, but I couldn't tell you if that was deposited here by native people or something that an animals drug in here. Cause it was kind of up here on the surface and I've not seen any flint with it, but could be either one. It's definitely old. You see where rats and stuff, ground squirrels has chewed on it in places. Pretty cool though. I'm gonna get back at it here while I still got a little sunlight left. Digging here in this little tumble far pit area where the dirt was so black over here. Ooh, have some. Check him out. Let's see. Hmm. You don't know. I mean, it looks like a point, but it is really crude and rudimentary if it is. I'll have to clean that one off. I think that's a point, but it's just really roughly made. Uh, anyway, I'll clean that up here in a little bit. If I don't drop it, break it first. We'll look at it a little better. All right, so I got all the noteworthy stuff kind of cleaned up a little bit. Go through it real quick when all we dug today. There's some of that quartzite. It looks to me like it's been heat treated because it's awful red on this cortex side. It could be natural, but I mean, it looks heated to me. And I'm not sure where the closest source of this stone is. I would guess maybe Virginia, but it definitely does not belong up here in this rock cliff. People has carried that in here to make stone tools or weapons with. And this big funky looking thing. I thought it was a broke biface. I'm going to say it's not a biface. It's not actually been bifaced. You see there. It just kind of pops some, some flakes out of it all along the edges. And even back here where it looks broke, it looks like it's been flaked a little to me. 
barely pressure flick to make like some kind of like a scraper or something. I don't know. Really crude and rough and ready, but definitely some kind of tool. Here's the broke base that I found about first thing today when I got up here. Good looking right angles where it would have been the base. This would have been the hafting area. It's real well thinned. It would have been a good little point if we found that hole. And I'm pretty sure after cleaning this thing up, y'all can be the judges for yourselves, that this is some type of crude projectile point, probably woodland period. Really rough material and really crudely made. You can see the camera focus. See down here at the base is even some thinning flakes. Even though it didn't do a lot of good to thin it because it didn't strike it this way. But I'm going to call that a point. Y'all can, can make the call for yourself. I think it's really rough and crude, but still, <clears throat> still a point. And that's not the first rough one like that I found up here. I found two or three more when I first started digging. It's pretty rough. Like maybe, maybe a beginner like a kid made them or something. And if you look, it's kind of the same flaking in both these pieces. Really rough, crude flaking, mostly pressure flaking. They ain't been well bifaced or thinned. It could have even been the same person. One of the things that makes you wonder. A little piece of pottery. Even in the outer side, you see those little depressions are where they actually textured it with a stick or something. There's the inside, or what would have been the inside of the vessel. Pretty cool. Still got the coating on it there. See the color difference. And a little burn up tiny bone fragment from a far pit. And the bone that come from up there on the high end of the shelter that could have just as easily been drug in there by a squirrel or some kind of little varmint to sharpen his teeth on. But Jury's still out on that one. I did find one flake next to it, so another one y'all can y'all can be the judge for yourself on that, whether that was brought in here by a primitive person or by an animal. But that's it for today. That's all the loot. Man, I'm wore out. I've dug and wallered around here like a pig today digging in this. But it's fun. Had a good time. <clears throat> Hope y'all enjoyed it too. Thanks for hanging in here with me. Catch y'all on the next one.